Welcome to Baseball News Club. My name is Chris. Today we'll be highlighting the 2019 National League MVPs, the top nine. Let's start off with the ninth ranked player, Juan Soto, the Washington Nationals. This Dominican Republican product received 45 vote points. He's only in his second season. He had a combined 220 runs and RBIs, 401 on base percentage. He was good on the road and away and with first pitches he was batting 444 now his clutch stats runners in scoring position he was only batting 274 and then with two outs 258 ranked at number eighth was freddie freeman of the atlanta braves freddie had actually a pretty solid season received 90 vote points i think it should have been ranked a little bit higher he had a 389 on base percentage a combined 234 for his runs and rbis and hit pretty good on the road hit 313 on the road he was stingy with two strikes and clutch stats his runners in scoring position was 358 and with two outs runners in scoring position he was hitting 300 solid season for freddie now ranked at number seventh was pete polar bear alonzo from the new york mets he received 102 vote points this former gator and 2019 rookie of the year burst onto the scene he had 53 home runs setting a new major league mark and for the all-star game he won the home run derby he was much better on the road than at home first pitches he was batting 361 but his clutch stats weren't that impressive he runners in scoring position he was batting 246 and with two outs and runners in scoring position he was batting 214. ranked at number six nolan arenado of the colorado rockies he received 120 vote points for mvp it's pretty much a perennial gold glove winner every season consistent against right-handed and left-handed pitchers his on-base percentage was 379. However, his home batting average is 351 and his road was 277. His clutch stats, runners in scoring position, he's solid, 329. And with two outs, runners in scoring position, he batted 313 on the season. Now ranked at number five was Ronald Acuna Jr. of the Atlanta Braves. He received 155 vote points. He's pretty much a highlight reel and the former 2018 Rookie of the Year had a combined 220 runs and RBIs. He's consistent batting on the home or on the road. In fact, first pitch, he's batting 461 with 10 home runs. Runners in scoring position, he's batting 323, but runners in scoring position with two outs, he's only batting 271. Now, coming in ranked at number fourth was Kettle Marte of the Arizona Diamondbacks. He received 198 vote points. He had a breakout season, very consistent against right-handed and left-handed pitchers, actually stubborn with two strikes. And he had a really good second half, batted 358 in the second half. And first pitch, he likes to jump on that, 500 batter on the first pitch. However, his clutch numbers were not that impressive. Runners in scoring position, 298. Runners in scoring position with two outs was only batting 255. Coming in ranked at number three was Anthony Rendon of the Washington Nationals. This Texas product received 242 vote points. He had a solid season, 243 combined runs and RBIs. Consistent on the road at home, consistent against right handed or left handed pitchers. He was tough with two strikes. He hit 394 in August. He hit 444 in the ninth inning, and he's impressive in clutch stats. 365 runners in scoring position, and with two outs runners in scoring position, he hit 362. Solid. Ranked at number two on the season for MVP voting was Christian Yelich of the Milwaukee Brewers. He received 317 vote points. This former 2018 MVP had back-to-back -back batting titles. He led the National League in on-base percentage with 429. He also led in slugging percentage, OPS, and he was consistent. It didn't matter if it was the first half of the season or second. He just hit solid all year long. He had a career-high 44 home runs. His ninth inning batting average was 543. However, his clutch stats were here and there. Runners in scoring position, he batted 327. However, runners in scoring position with two outs. He only batted 273. Still, overall, great season for Christian. Now, before we reveal the number one MVP for the National League in 2019, we ask you a big favor. Please subscribe. Please follow us on social media, Twitter, and Instagram. In order for us to build this channel, we really need your support. Thank you very much. Now, coming in ranked at number one was Cody Bellinger of the Los Angeles Dodgers. Check out this Grand Slam. Crushed. He had 362 vote points. This Arizona product and former 2017 Rookie of the Year candidate was just a highlight reel all season long. It didn't matter if it was at the plate or in the field. He was consistent against right-handed and left-handed pitchers. He had 47 home runs. He was also very consistent. It didn't matter if it was on the road or at home. He hit 
the entire season. 357 first pitch average, strong with two strikes. In the seventh inning, he batted 452. Just an amazing season. His clutch stats, however, runners in scoring position, he batted 298. It was lower with two outs runners in scoring position. He batted 241. And he had a combined 351 total bases on the season. And the crazy part, this is only his third year in the league. So very excited to see what Cody brings to the table in the next couple years. Thank you very much for watching Baseball News Club. Have yourself a great day. Thank you.